Tori, did you want to get immersed in our world? Yeah, well, guess what? Fucking pronouns! Because we're boring! We're so fucking boring! <laughs>The, the Xbox Series X just seems like such a bitch of a console. Redfall couldn't even be 60 and that has no justification. This game is great, I'm loving it, but come on man, I mean check this out. Look, look at this for a second. Uh, this, now again, it's different company. I get it, they're doing different things with their game. You would really want, if you're Microsoft, your biggest project to date, Starfield, to be able to showcase all the capabilities of Xbox, like 60 FPS gaming. I asked our audience, what would you ask Todd? <laughs> Big question from many. Why did you not optimize this game for PC? Uh, we did, it's running great. It is a next gen PC game. We really do push the technology, so you may need to upgrade your PC for this game. Remember when I said that this GPU could do 60 plus FPS or around 60 FPS with ray tracing at 4K? Well, this doesn't have ray tracing and it's getting 30 to 40. That's how bad this is. Where you step into a new world and you get that feeling of unlimited possibilities. But this time, it's not just one world. It's over a thousand worlds. Mountains in the distance to the people and creatures that live in these worlds. That isn't just a backdrop. That moon is actually there orbiting the planet. Yes, you can visit it too. So the main focus when we're designing a city is obviously what supports the story. We try and tell as many small stories as possible. This is a colony war memorial. It's a few moments of gameplay that make the space feel like it's full of real characters that are going about their day-to-day -day lives.
Jesus! to answer. Take care out there. What did you need? That is all? Very well. End, and you can walk right over the top. You know, it's moments like this that really... You have what's mine. I, indirectly. Space exploration is possible thanks to your ship. Your ship is almost like having another character or home you can make all your own. I think you'll be blown away by the amount of stuff you can do. You can buy a ship. Hello, Captain. Somebody has found out how to make the best ship in Starfield. So apparently, the ships in Starfield, the enemy ships, their AI is programmed to shoot in the middle of the ship. This is the most overpowered, invincible ship that you could possibly get. And I made this thing out of all A-grade pieces, just to show you how insane it is. And believe it or not, right now, this is on very hard difficulty that I'm doing what you're seeing right here. I love Starfield. Starfield! Gonna try out Starfield? Yeah, it looks great. I can't wait to play it. I'm excited. You're excited for Starfield? Congratulations, guys. Starfield looks beautiful. So, are you guys gonna try Starfield? Yeah, like, it looks really cool. I would definitely try it. I mean, going to different planets, making your own little world, that's cool. So, what do you guys think of Starfield? It's really good. Can't wait to play it. <laughs> yeah, we can't wait. Are you gonna try Starfield? Of course. What do you like most about it? It's an open world game, which is awesome. It's like super innovative and just like, since it took so long to make, like it has to be like years of hard work, so. What's your favorite thing about it? Uh, just like exploring all the worlds and how like creative and cool it looks inside. Yeah.